Nymph Scented Trout Fishing Power Bait from Berkeley, one of the most underrated and underutilized power baits there is to catch trout. And in today's video, I'm gonna share tips and techniques to use this unique power bait to help you catch more trout when you hit the water next. Let's talk about what a nymph is. A nymph is an organism or an insect that trout feed on and they utilize that for protein and food source to grow really big. And a lot of times you hear about nymph when you're talking about fly fishing on different bodies of water using dry fly nymphs to catch big trout that are surfacing and hitting bugs on top of the surface. Now Berkeley's had this natural scented nymph power bait around for a long time and I'm gonna tell you guys seven tips that are gonna help you catch a lot of trout using this unique power bait. Now my first tip is to fish it in water warmer water and warmer weather. And typically what you'll find is when the water warms up and when the weather warms up, the fish start to be more active. Their metabolism starts to increase. They start going after a lot more food sources and they start to hit the surface for bugs and hatches and anything that's gonna be a protein and food source on the surface. So when you're trout fishing in that late springtime and you're transitioning from spring to summertime trout fishing and you get warmer weather and warmer water, that would be a time to start transitioning into the nymph power bait. Now that's not to say it won't work in colder water conditions, but to utilize this and have the best chance to catch trout with this power bait is to use it when the weather is warmer and the waters are starting to warm up and getting into that higher 50s into that 60 degree range. And that's why it's one of my favorite power baits for summertime trout fishing. So when you start getting those warmer conditions, start using the nymph a lot. Now my number six tip for the nymph power bait is to actually tip your power bait on your hook with a little bit of night crawler. Now one of the reasons that I recommend adding a little bit of night crawler with the nymph power bait on your hook is for a couple reasons. Now in tip seven I talked about warmer weather and warmer water conditions. When you've got those conditions happening, night crawlers is also another good scent and bait to use. But if you want to fish something that's very natural and has dual scents and dual presentations in the water, combine those two baits together to create a really cool trout bait cocktail. Now in high pressured areas and areas where the trout might be less bitey and they're being more finicky by tipping your bait with a little bit of night crawler you create a different scent bait combination a little bit of a cocktail I would say something that the trout are gonna really go after and it's gonna be something different than not anyone is gonna be using now what I've talked about on the channel before is having bait and scent combinations that are different from what other anglers are using around you and by tipping a little night crawler on here you're gonna have something completely different that no one else is gonna be using and it's gonna help you stand out and catch more trout at the end of the day now my number five tip is to combine the nymph power bait with other power bait and scent combinations together on your bait presentation and hook. Now there's a couple ways to fish power bait. One is to just fish one color right out of the jar, put it on your hook and get fishing. The other way to do it is to take a little bit from one jar and a little bit from another jar, two different colors, maybe different scent combinations, combine them together into one bait on your hook. And this is where adding nymph with other color and scent combinations can help you get a little bit of an edge and get a little bit better of a bite, especially in slow areas. Now there's nothing wrong with just fishing nymph right on your hook. I can get a lot of hookups that way. Now by combining this with other power bait colors and scents like salmon egg and garlic and maybe some bright colors like chartreuse, pink and orange or more natural colors like green pumpkin and hatchery pellet brown, you're going to be able to combine and create some unique presentation colors and scents for different water conditions and different weather conditions. What you might find by combining the nymph power bait with another power bait is a unique deadly combination that the trout cannot resist. Now my number four tip is to fish the nymph power bait underneath a bobber. Now the two techniques that I've talked about fishing with power bait is plunking or underneath the bobber, which isn't the most natural or the most known way of fishing power bait. But when you've got trout in the upper part of the water column and they're surfacing or rolling and eating bugs and flies off the top, you're gonna wanna get baits in that upper part of the strike zone. So if you want to go with the nymph power bait, get it within that first foot range of the water where the fish are going to be hanging out. Get that bait in the strike zone area. And one of the effective ways to do that is to fish it right underneath the bobber. Now the easiest way to do this is to grab a slip bobber with a little weight and your hook right underneath it and being able to move the sliding bobber up and down to add some length or decrease your length to get that bait into the strike zone. And when the trout are feeding and super active and you're getting them on the surface, being able to fish something under a bobber in that upper part 
section of the water, you're gonna get a higher hookup and a higher land ratio. And especially if you can see on the water that nymphs and the fly hatch is coming out, definitely grab this and get ready for some epic takedowns and bobber downs. Now my number three tip is to add additional scents to the nymph power bait. Now when we're talking about adding different scents, I'm talking about garlic, nightcrawler, shrimp, and anise with the nymph. Something that you can change and play around with on different bodies of water in different conditions to find that scent combination that the trout are really gonna like. Now the nymph scent in this power bait by itself is really good, but again, if you wanna stand out and present something to the trout in high pressured areas or something that's different that they haven't seen, you wanna add other scents to this, whether it's a Procure gel, whether it's the rooster tail spray from Procure and Yakima bait, add something else to this, give the bait a little bit different of a dimension. So play around with different combinations and when you find that perfect one where you get one bite, two bite, three bites, and you're able to find a really good pattern of what scent combination is working, stick with it. You're gonna have an epic day when you find that right combination. Now my number two tip and technique is to fish this nymph power bait in all kinds of different fishing conditions. Now I'm talking about is clear water, partially stained water, dirty water, and super dirty water. In all those different water conditions, the nymph power bait is gonna be able to stand out and be seen and you're gonna get bites. Now what I love about this grape colored nymph power bait is it stands out and is a perfect natural bait for clear water conditions. But when you've got a little bit of stained water and dirty water, it's still bright enough where the fish are gonna be able to see it, they're definitely gonna be able to smell it and you're gonna be able to get bites in all those conditions. And no matter what the season, whether it's spring, summer, maybe late fall, and even in the winter time, you can still utilize this bait set to catch trout all year long. But your most effective seasons are gonna be later in the spring, definitely the summer, and then into that fall time frame, depending on how warm the water is and what the weather conditions are in your area. Don't be afraid to use this nip power bait in all seasons of the year, in all water conditions, because it is gonna catch you trout all the time. And my number one tip is if you see trout hitting the surface or rolling, you need to grab this and start fishing immediately. Now when I roll up to a body of water to go trout fishing, the first thing I'm doing is gathering intel on what the conditions are. What's the weather like? What's the water conditions like? Are there fish surfacing and hitting the surface eating bugs and flies? And if the answer to that question is yes, you wanna get the nymph power bait out. Now in fly fishing, they talk about mats to hatch. So in this scenario, when you're seeing fish hit flies, hit bugs, and that are surfacing, and they're going after nymphs, it only makes sense to grab the nymph power bait out and start fishing it. And in this scenario, I would start out with fishing this again underneath the bobber in that first couple feet of water. But you can also plunk this and fish this off the bottom. The trout are still gonna go after the nymph power bait in the deeper, cooler waters as well. And when you see the trout surfacing, grab the nymph power bait and get ready for an epic day of trout fishing. And those are my seven trout fishing tips for fishing with nymph power bait from Berkeley. Now I hope you guys got some tips and information out of today's video to help you catch more trout when you hit the water next. And if you guys got some helpful information and tips out of today's video, hit the thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you love trout fishing, trout fishing tips, and other outdoor content. And don't forget, and as always you guys, the outdoors is a gift, share it with others.